A group of government officials, dignitaries and students toured a newly curated exhibit of the father of the nation, the Right Honorable George Cale Price, at the George Price Center in Belmopan. On display are 12 transcripts from speeches made by Premier George Price. This is from a period before Belize's independence. These are speeches that have never before been published because they came from among 40 boxes of recently uncovered material linked to the Right Honorable George Price. Today we're here to do two things. The first is to honor the Right Honorable George Keel Price and what would have been his 104th birthday today. Happy birthday, Mr. Price. The second is to launch the exhibition, Let Belize Live, Speeches of the Premier. Belize could not have asked for a better role model of sacrifice, dedication, passion, humility, all in one man, the father of our beloved Belize. Let Belize's land and sea serve the best interest of the Belizean people. We unite to build a nation. Most Belizeans want an independent and sovereign Belize. There is no such thing as a little country. The greatness of a people is no more determined by their number than the greatness of a man is determined by his height. We thank the representatives of the United Kingdom for the welcome and for setting right the record. We dedicate this new flag of independence to the people and government of Belize secure in its sovereignty and owner of all its territory. The Let Belize Live speech of the premiere exhibit has been made available online with copies of the original transcripts and audio files. It is a fitting tribute to an exemplary leader who would have celebrated his 104th birthday on Sunday. We also heard from Minister Henry Charles Usher, the grandnephew of the late Price. It's always important for us to remember our you know, the persons who created this nation, the persons who fought for independence, our forefathers, and certainly the Right Honorable George Price, the father of the nation, our national hero, is someone whose legacy we must continue to live by and we must continue to learn from. Yes, we called him Uncle George, and certainly we had a unique relationship with him. We were able to spend a lot of quality time with him um, on weekends when he took us around in his Land Rover or when he was teaching us about Belize, about the culture, about the geography. He was a well-learned man even though he didn't complete his education. Um, he knew a lot about um, different topics, different subjects, and he was always willing to impart that knowledge to us. One of the greatest um, you know, events, independence, when I asked him about it, were you ready for independence? He said yes. He said he realized that the people of Belize were ready. They were like horses at the gate, he said, just bursting and ready to burst through the gate. And according to Francis Fonseca, the Minister of Education, this latest exhibit is only a small portion of the 40 boxes of documents recently unearthed. His objective is to have the entirety of the files reviewed for later publications and exhibits. It's an exciting effort. Um, we're very proud of it. And this has... I said in my remarks, um, this is the first volume. Obviously, this is just 12 speeches. Imagine we have 40 boxes of material. Um, so there's a lot, lot more to come. Um, we're going through it, and there are you know, entire boxes with, that deal with, with social issues, with economic issues, with political issues. Um, so you know, we'll try to develop themes and, and booklets related to those themes. And over the months and years to come, we hope to consistently and continuously unveil these, these speeches and share them with the Belizean people. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.